desert sand don't ask questions It don't wonder where I've been It understands it's my obsession To come and go with the wind Okay guys, g'day! Kimmy, Russ Adventures out on the road again today, aren't we babe? I'm here! Yep, you're there, right there, aren't you babe? Yep. Yes, and look at that yellow strapped on that bag on the back. What does that mean, babe? Holiday time. We're testing bag setups again. This is version two. Now, if you remember version one, have a look at the video. I'll put a link down below for it. This is version two we're testing at the moment. We've actually got a version two and version three, but this is version two. And we're in the fine city of Devonport, and that is the spirit of Tasmania there. And what's happening in almost 60 days' time, babe? We're going on that spirit of Tasmania. We are. We're booked to go to the mainland. Mainland Australia, that is, for all our overseas viewers. That's the spirit of Tasmania too over there. Looking fine, damn fine, isn't it? Yep. We'll be rocking and rolling on that all night long, won't we? Across to the fair city of Melbourne. Let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, we no. When I mean rock and roll, and we'll be, you know, drinking and, you know, oh, oh, I actually don't want to be rock and rolling with the sea. No. <laughs> we had one bad trip, didn't we, babe? Yeah. We're not even going to go there. And there's another ship coming up the Mersey River. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. That'd be the Mersey, whatever it is, the blue one. The blue one. The new blue one. <laughs> we'll just call it the blue one, will we? Yes. Anyway, we're out and about, and we're like I said, we're testing Kim's bag out on the back of the bike. We've got a bit of a different setup here, so we're going to pull over up the road. We'll take you for a little spin. I'll show you on the back of it. Kim's going to come up and go past me in a minute, and um, I'll give you a little look at the way it travels on the back of the bike. All right, come up past. She's got to find the power, she'll take a while. <laughs> Here she comes. Rightio. So, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that is the bag on the back of her bike. And I tell you what, that bag sits there really, really well. That is full of stuff at the moment. Like I said, we'll pull over up the road and we'll show you. Won't we, babe? We will. We'll yep. go up here. Yep. There's a ship coming in at the moment. We might pull into a car park along here somewhere. Keep going. That's a little bit further, babe. It's probably not the blue one. No, well, you're that. Uh, yeah. You've jumped to conclusions, haven't you? Now people are going to know I lied. Yeah. Oh, dear. Let's just not film the ship. She's a friggin' liar. You hear that, guys? She admit to it. Let's Don't believe not... a word Mrs. Kimmy Ruth Adventure says. <laughs> Well, if you want to go to the right, my dear, we can. Go to the memorial. Like I said, we're in Devonport. No camping, babe. You're not camping, are you? <laughs> Haven't got a tent in my bag, have I? But that's the bag set up there. Where are we going to park? Just back or in there, babe. Which one? Oh, yeah, in one of these ones. Just here. Yep. So, we'll just park it here, hop off, and we're going to show you the bag, the setter. But that ship's on the way in, look at it. Yeah, yeah no, you did lie about Oh, that's the Goliath, that's the cement oh, ship, sweetie. Yes, yes. yes. For anyone that doesn't know, we've got a cement place here up the back of Devonport, up Railton, and that is the ship that collects the cement, isn't it, babe? Yep. Coming in up through the heads now and it is a beautiful day a beautiful springs day what is it about 13 14 degrees 13 i think okay then we'll just take these helmets off and we'll get back to you in a minute okay there is the goliath like we said we weren't lying were we babe no we lied about the blue one though we what i lied about the blue one I said yeah you lied about the blue one that's a black one isn't it yeah. the cement ship but anyway we about to show you Kim's bag setter, aren't we, babe? Yes. This is it here. That is it there. That is a completely waterproof 
bag. Now, it has got yellow straps on it at the moment because we've put them on there so you viewers can see how, how we've got it strapped on, haven't we, babe? Yes. Yes. So that's all strapped on there. Kim will just take it off. Whoops, my mic's come adrift. Wait a minute, guys. Hold on, guys. Okay, so here we are. Kim's gonna show you how she takes it off. Okay, it's not her clothes either. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't want that, would we, babe? Definitely not. Okay, so here we go. Easy. Easy Lay peasy. Right there. Take that out of there. Yeah, right out of there. Then the other side. Now these straps are rated to 400 kilo braking strength, aren't they my dear? They are, and you just got to make sure you don't lay that on your exhaust. Yes, make sure you don't, and lift the bag off. And this is the new setup guys. I have put a Hepco Becker, yes adventure bike again, we're turning the Harley into an adventure bike aren't yes. we? But that's a Hepco Becker plate, and I've mounted that on her rack. Drilled a little hole here, so we can get into the screw that holds her actual, um, what do you call it, fender rack, yep. on the bike. Yep. So, this here has got a lot of tie down points here, there, 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 everywhere, and there. So, we think the bag sits on there a hell of a lot better. Well, it is fairly secure. Yes. Now, with the last video, which I'll put a link to down <laughs> the bottom here, a lot of people carried on about it. Mm. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. Because it was givey. So no. Oh, because I put a givey bag on the top of a Harley. An adventure bag, style bag. Well, you know what? I don't give a fuck. Because it's all about the price, the quality, and more importantly while you're on the road, the flexibility and the easiness that you know how easy it is mm -hmm. to get it on and off the bike in the boat. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we go on, we're having a look at this one. Now we've got another setup which we will show you as well. But this bag here, that one, is actually a waterproof bag as well. So it's pretty good in the boat. It is. You yes. Quite a bit of stuff in so it. So chuck her back on there and we'll hit the road jack. Just make sure she's on there, the overhang. We don't want the Harley looking dicky, babe. Make sure the overhang's okay. Yeah, the overhang's yep. good. Okay, and Kim will do it back up. Yeah, look at this. She's on there, isn't she? I think we'll go through here. You're gonna, no, if you're going to go through there, probably go through that one. If you want. Yes, I do want. You will do want. Ooh. Mm. You don't want your knickers hitting the road. <laughs> no. But you probably should go... Take this one out, don't go through that one. Oh, okay. okay? But anyway, that's her bag set up, and we will show you the other bag later on. Were so you anyway, pointing the camera at me then when you said the other bag? <laughs> wouldn't do that, would I, guys? Anyway, we'll catch you with the other bag on the back of it. See you okay, guys. Like I said, we'll show you the other bag set up. Now, this is bag set up number three, version three. This is it here. Now that is the actual bag she took to the mainland last year, but it is on that Hepco Becker plate. So, what do you think of that, guys? That's it, there, straps on the same way. And it's better. But this one isn't exactly waterproof. It is splash proof, but we have got a cover for it. So, you guys, let us know. Version one, two, or three. Which one will we go with? Mm, I know which one I like. Okay then. Catch you on the road somewhere else, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. See you guys. Bye.